Welcome to Stay Strong in September. During this lockdown period, many of the regular things that happen in a typical week are not happening in that normal routine. And so for some people, their life's a bit all over the place at the moment, and it's hard to be motivated because of that loss of routine. It might be really good for you to set up a routine for this lockdown period so that you still have some set things in your day. Sometimes you do work, or take a break or take a, uh, some sort of recreation and make sure of course you're also getting enough sleep again because we don't have to be out the door early to catch a train or do anything like that some people are staying up much later but eventually that tiredness will catch up and of course being overtired never helps us be good at being patient and loving to other people it typically causes people to be grumpy and impatient. So again, have a think about that, what you could change in your routine and your sleep patterns that might help you be a more godly person. Well, let's look again at 1 Thessalonians from chapter 5. Father God, speak to us again, that we might hear what you have to say to us and be challenged by the things we need to be challenged by. In Jesus' name, Amen. Now, brothers and sisters, about times and dates, we do not need to write to you, for you know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. While people are saying peace and safety, destruction will come on them suddenly, as labor pains on a pregnant woman, and they will not escape. But you, brothers and sisters, are not in darkness so that this day should surprise you like a thief. You are all children of the light and children of the day. We do not belong to the night or to the darkness. So then, let us not be like others who are asleep, but let us be awake and sober. For those who sleep, sleep at night, and those who get drunk, get drunk at night. Since we belong to the day, let us be sober, putting on faith and love as a breastplate, and the hope of salvation as a helmet, for God did not appoint us to suffer wrath, but to receive salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. He died for us, so that whether we're awake or asleep, we may live together with him. Therefore encourage one another, and build each other up, just as, in fact, you are doing. Well, if we knew for sure that Jesus was coming back this week. How would it change your priorities today? I suspect there are many things that you've got planned for this week that you'd never do if you knew the end of the world was about to come. Sometimes a fear or thought that maybe Jesus' return is imminent makes people realize there are all these people I was going to tell about Jesus I've not, never got around to. There are all these things I need to change in my life that I'm not ready for Judgment Day. It would be really good if we treated every day as a possible day that Jesus could return. And we live every moment prepared and living for him. Because, as we're told, he will come like a thief in the night when we least expect it. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, help us today to be ready for Jesus. Help us to be motivated now to make the changes that we need to make with our routine, with our priorities, with the things that we put off and the sins that we repent from. Strengthen us to live for you each and every day. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day.